the day when I did a live stream and some dude, some dude called in and he basically was asking, he was like, you know, cause he said he does real estate. He said he, he, you know, he has millions of dollars, but he wants to make more millions and all this other stuff. And basically he was saying okay. like, he was like, you know, uh, isn't dealing with women a waste of time, you know, because if you, if you don't deal with women then you can make more money. And he was like, he's like, I feel like I could have made more money if I didn't deal with women and yada, yada, yada. Right. And basically what I was saying is, is that, see, the problem is, is that most guys don't know how to utilize the situation they have with women to, to get the girls in position to help them to make more money because you go right. and ask him, I said, you still be fucking with chicks, right? He's like, yeah, I be mean, you know, smashing them, whatever. But I'm like, see, you was just smashing them. You should have been using <laughs> the chicks you were smashing to help you with the fuck, with the, what the fuck he was doing. Right. So, right. Right. So, and, so I got a comment from someone and they said, in what ways can a woman help a man improve himself or business? Even if they could, why would any man do such a thing for free? An adult male should self uh, should be self-made and not rely on others too much. If help is needed, it's more cost-effective to hire them as employees. It will cost much less than building a relationship and profits won't have to be shared. Another way is to compartmentalize things. For example, work for three months on your goals, then take one month off to get as much sex as you want and then go back to your purpose. Trying to mix it is is really possible and leads to mediocrity. All right, so now I got I got to dive into this shit so so dudes understand. So basically, he's saying, why would you use these chicks to to help you when you could just hire uh, somebody? See, why would you hire someone if you have the chick already there to help you? You understand what I'm saying? You'll do it for free. Exactly right. That's what I'm saying. Like that doesn't make any sense because because what you have to understand is. Is that, you know, like when, um, a per you know when a, you, the saying "get the most out of a situation," right? Mm-hmm. That's what's happening mm-hmm. when you're dealing with these chicks. You have to get the most out of the situation. So if I have a chick here who's cooperative, who wants to be a part of my team, who listens to what I says, who who follows my direction, why the hell would I not put her to work? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. That exactly. doesn't make any sense. You see what I mean? Especially if she is gonna do it and can do it well. Why would I, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't make any sense. And also he said, um, an adult male should uh, be self-made and not rely on, on others too much. And so this is the thing. See, this is the, 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 the problem that people don't understand. Yes, you're supposed to rely on what you do, but none of us, especially if you have a business, none of us are really doing anything on our own, running a business. You understand what I'm saying? You're always going to right. have help. Like, like I don't do everything when it comes to what we're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, exactly. Like, like Miles doesn't do everything. Like we 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 fucking help each other, and we also have outside help too. So right, it's not a thing where you're just this lone wolf doing every all every thing. It doesn't work that way. You see what I'm saying? So there's always going to be an element of outsourcing, an element of you, you know, um, making shit happen. You understand what I'm saying? Now. Right. The funny part, and this is the part that 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 gets to me. The part where he said, another way is to comp- compartmentalize things. For example, work three months on your goals, then take one month off and get as much sex as you want, and then and then go back right. to your purpose. <laughs> A whole month? You know how much money you losing, nigga? Exactly. Fuck? That's what I'm saying. Now, now this, but this this also brings up a, a bigger a bigger issue. Men have to look, guys. You have to understand that. This is all a lifestyle, bro. This is not some shit you just, you know, you you do this here and then you do this on the side here, right? It's a lifestyle, Mm -hmm. meaning that you, it it encompasses everything in your life. You understand? That's like me saying, oh, well, you know, um, I want to, I want to fucking, you know, I go to the gym, right? But I also want to start a business, right? So that's like saying, well, go to the gym for three months and then take a whole month off the gym and, and work on your business. Right. And then exactly. go back to the gym. Exactly. Like, what kind of it doesn't make no fucking sense. <laughs> I mean, w- w- what that person is talking about when they say that, they're talking about going to, more than likely, they're talking about going to Brazil and, and fucking prostitutes. That's exactly. what they're talking about. Right. Because right. There's, there's, realistically, there's no way for you to fucking only work for three months and then one whole month you go out and holler at bitches like that and then 
and then you're supposed to get as much sex as you want. Right, right. Like, maybe, maybe if your game is, like, super <laughs> duper tight, but if you haven't used it for three months, four months, you're going to be rusty. So how? How, exactly. how are you going to get as much sex as you want automatically in, 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 in 30 days? You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, all that's, see, the thing is that, guys, you got you to gotta look more compartmentalizing is good for certain things but for something like this i think you have to look at having a, a balanced life you right, understand right you exactly. know make your money but you got it you have to consider you know carrying yourself a certain way where you you make time for different things so you can live the life with balance mm-hmm. so you don't get to because sometimes i don't know for other other people but for me sometimes when you're working all the time work starts to be starts to feel like work Right. You exactly, see what I'm exactly. And I don't like when work feels like work. I like when I love what I do. I like when I enjoy myself. Mm-hmm. I like I like I like doing that shit. So so I could leave you know, we could we could we could do we could spit games, do this, do that, or I could, you know, go do a, a fucking wedding and take photos and then then after that I could go out and meet a chick for, for drinks. Right. You understand? Right. And then and then and then learn learn something from the conversation with her that I could either talk about in the next time. I do a YouTube video or the next time we do the show. You understand? Like, right. that's how things kind of, well, to me, for me, that's how things work, I think. If you can create a life of balance, I think you're better off, you know, because the, the, I think I think it's better for the mind. I think it's better for your, for your, you know, for just your overall sanity. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, that's real talk. And that's what I'm saying. Where Because, see, the problem is guys be thinking that, you know, there's this thing where, um, where you can just jump into something. You understand what I'm saying? Like meaning like right. you 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 got to understand that everything takes time to cultivate. So let's say like it, you know, let's say you let's say you flipped it around. Let's say someone was like, "Yo, I'm gonna just fuck a, or try to, you know, talk to women all day and then I'm gonna take a month off to work on my business and then go back to talking to chicks." Like, no, it don't that that shit don't work that way. You so you got to do everything at the same time, because what happens right. is, is things take time to cultivate. So even if let's say, let's say, for example, you did um, do the thing where you said, uh, I'm going to work on my business like crazy. And then I'm going to take a month off and fuck a bunch of chicks and then go back to, to working right now. The only way you would be able to do that is that you would have had to take in years to cultivate the skill to be able to just in one month bang a whole bunch of girls. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so, mm-hmm. so either way, you still, you still had to take time to, to, to cultivate the skill to, to be able to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna go to, to these spots or, or, or hit up a bunch of joints and, 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 and just get consistent sex because it's not like you can right. just not know how to do that. And then all of a sudden decide to do that. And then within a month, be able to fuck girls. You're not going to be fucking no chicks because you don't know how right. you don't, you ain't got the skill. You understand? But it takes right. time to, to, to get the skill. So you're going to have to take time to cultivate that and you can do to cultivate that at the same time as you're working on your business. Just is right. a thing called scheduling. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, time it's like, management. Because, right. And another thing too is you want, like when you're out there dealing with chicks, you want to be the type of guy who got shit to do. Like you don't want to be no dude that your number, your all your focus on is, is fucking with chicks. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. You 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 want to you want to have you want to have a balanced lifestyle where it's like chicks don't think that you're all invested in them and that's it. Right. You understand? They mm-hmm. know that you have other things going on. They know that you're about other things. Because mm-hmm. when you're all about a chick, then that's when they they don't they don't they have a they look at you a certain way and they may not have a certain level of respect that they need to have for you because they they're like oh well. He's he's just he's just concentrating on chicks right now. So, you know, it's like if he don't have nothing else going on, then what's the point? You right, know what I'm mean? saying? Right, right, exactly. Because chicks, chicks love your attention, but they also they also like they also kind of like feel a feel they they get stimulated emotionally, whether it be negative or positive. But they get stimulated emotionally when they know that they are competing against other things for your attention. Mm-hmm. So when so when because when you give a chick attention freely, she don't respect it. But when when she knows that, oh, he could have done this or he could have done that, but yet and still he's on the phone talking to me or yet and still he decided to go out on a date with me, right. that's when she'll be like, that's when she'll value it a little bit more. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. That's real talk, man. So listen, uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about seven ways you might not be compatible 
with a chick, all right? So you guys are listening to The Bad Boy Show. <laughs> 